I'm Dr. Dan, welcome from Vitamin Pro, and this is the second part of a two-part series on cortisol. Now the first part we discussed a little bit about what cortisol is, what it does, and the second part we're talking a little bit more about what can go wrong, you know, how we test it and what do you do about it. And of course we try to take this complex issue and break it down into uh, some very manageable details that you can use to help with your own health. That's our goal. Now, in any kind of system, as it begins to break down, you get wilder and wilder fluctuations. A good example would be what's happening here in March right now. In um, We live up in the Lake Tahoe region. So as we transition from winter to, to spring or summer, you know, we get these wild fluctuations. One day might be 70, and the next day we might, might be 35 and snowing. So the same thing is true in our bodies. As we begin to lose that regulation, as we go through this transition from normal cortisol levels into normal cortisol regulation into something less than ideal, we're going to get these wild fluctuations. Now this is important because cortisol is so important in blood sugar control. Now our neurons live on blood sugar, so if you get these fluctuations, you're going to experience that brain fog, which we talked about last time, and also memory. Now there's a special part of this that has to do with memory and cortisol. Now with, with, with chronic elevations or these peaks in, uh, um, in elevations of cortisol, it will actually destroy parts of the hippocampus which is where we process a lot of our memory. So we can, uh, we can treat that of course, but ideally you know, we'll try to keep you from that in the first place. So keeping, our, keeping your cortisol levels as close to ideal as possible is going to have great benefit for you over time. Um, now testing isn't that hard. Uh, we, you know, it's a saliva test, and you'll get a kit from the lab. You know, so if, when you want to do this, uh, we don't carry the kits here. Uh, basically, we have a lab send them to you, and it's a saliva test. You do this at home, and we we need uh, four different samples throughout the day because cortisol fluctuates quite a bit from from morning to night. So we want to see the pattern, and you'd be surprised at some of the patterns we see. Um, we're looking at what we call the free cortisol, not the bound, and that's that's perfect because we can get that out of the saliva with very little effort. Now, if the cortisol patterns are not quite right, you know we can begin to treat that. And our favorite um, our favorite supplement for doing that is something called Advocor. Advocor is by Neuroscience, and if you look in the text of this video, you'll you'll see that. But it's been phenomenal. We've seen so many of these uh, these profiles come back into uh, closer to the ideal range and of course we will feel better when that's when that happens. So there's some a uh, few basics about cortisol. You know it's important for blood sugar, uh, memory, brain function, it, it works on inflammation, you know, keeping that under control. And and you know we can use things like phosphatidylserine and some of those wonderful components of Advocor to help keep this normalized. So there's the basics. Thanks a lot for listening. Hopefully that was helpful for you.